Yesterday, a source from the Royal Grift reveals that Meghan is just a player when she stepped in the royal family and that the real mastermind is the person behind her, with potentially more individuals involved. The loyalty of Mark Sanderson, Meghan's friend, is questioned, suggesting that he may prioritise his own interests over hers in the long run. The most interesting thing is that Mark Sanderson and Meghan is a disgruntled employee who had to deal with being demigrated by Toffs in Soho House and was out for revenge. This would be a far more banal scenario, possibly encouraged or exploited when on its way by political players. Then the conspiracy to bring down the monarchy as such or use the power of the royals to further an agenda. Meghan and Marcus Anderson have had an agenda with the royal family. Some people believe that Marcus is Prince Andrew's secret son. He was born in Peterborough, Ontario, Canada back in 1978. But here comes the interesting part. Guess who was at the same place back in 1977? Prince Andrew. In 1977, Prince Andrew attended Lakefield College located in Peterborough, Ontario, the same place where Marcus was born. Also, Andrew spent time in Peterborough throughout the years as he was considered a long-time champion of Lakefield College. Here we have a picture of Andrew wearing a Lakefield College sweatshirt while skiing in Peterborough. Now that we have the timeline established, let's go to the theory. Some people believe that Marcus is Prince Andrew's love child. Do I believe it? Do I have proof? No. But there are many coincidences which shouldn't be ignored. Do you see the resemblance? It is a fact that Andrew is in Peterborough during the time of Marcus's conception. Marcus has never mentioned his parents. We don't know anything about his upbringing, just this. He goes to London at 18 and in a very short space of time starts rubbing elbows with the upper crust. Some people on Twitter also said that Meghan got the idea to name a son Archie Harrison from Marcus. Harrison, Harry's son and Anderson Andrew's son. There's too many coincidences to be ignored. Andrew may not be the father, but he may have behaved inappropriately. Maybe Marcus's family knows some secrets from Prince Andrew's past. After all, he was nicknamed Randy Andy for a reason. We don't know all of the bad things that Andrew did while living in Peterborough. Maybe Marcus knows and he's using it for blackmailing purposes. There is a picture flowing around of Marcus and Andrew yachting. Even worse, it was said, allegedly, that Prince Andrew knew Meghan before Harry. Some said that Marcus introduced Meghan to Harry via Andrew. Andrew allegedly met Meghan many a time before through some party at the yacht. Harry may not be innocent, but he was an easy target for them. Maybe Marcus wants some kind of payback. He thinks he deserves. Maybe he also doubted that he could have a royal line via Andrew. And Meghan is a social climbing gold digger. Everything is a scheme. We haven't seen Marcus around Meghan recently since their hiking in May, although Meghan is in the midst of a crisis in her career right now, there's no clue that Marcus is helping her out. This sparked a rumour that Marcus has dumped Meghan because their agenda is over. Currently, the media are contacting the insiders to confirm the information. In other news, King Charles III has seemingly snubbed his younger son Prince Harry and his wife Meghan Markle with his big decision as he invited Prince Andrew to Balmoral over the weekend for a family getaway. Andrew's ex-wife Sarah Ferguson, daughters Princess Beatrice and Princess Eugene are also believed to be joining as they plan to stay the week, but there's been no word on whether Meghan and Harry were invited or not. The move suggests that the King and Andrew are now on much better terms. Andrew would be the first member of the family to join him in an olive brunch. Meanwhile, the King's decision has reportedly hurt Harry and Meghan as they feel lost after being snubbed.